Good morning, class. Today we'll be talking about motion. What is motion? Motion is the difference in movement of objects in relation to different objects. Now, let's talk about the laws of motion. Sir Isaac Newton came up with the three laws of motion. The first law of motion, every object persists in a state of rest or uniform motion in a straight line unless force is pressed on it. The first law says that an object in motion tends to stay in motion and an object in rest tends to stay in rest. The second law states, a force is equal to the change in momentum per change in time for a constant mass, force equal mass multiplied by acceleration. This law describes how we get force, and without force there is no motion. The third law of motion is for every equal action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. The third law states that when you apply a force to an object, it causes that object to react. This is a demonstration of the Newton's cradle. The cradle is designed to show the reaction of an object when a force is applied. Now we are going to talk about displacement. Displacement is a distance from the starting point to the ending point. If the object stops at the original starting point, then the displacement is zero. And we'll do a little problem here to demonstrate it, where we start out by going 200 meters east, and then we go 50 meters south. And then we go back 75 meters west. The total displacement then would be 125 meters southeast since you went south and then west back to the east. Or since the starting point. And then uh, now we're uh, going to Aaron and we're going to talk about some vectors. Heck yeah. Next, we're going to be talking about vectors. A vector is a motion shown by an arrow with a direction and a speed. Now I'll demonstrate how to use vectors. First, you take the direction of the motion and draw a vector scaled to the length of the motion. As you can see, the distance from here to subway is 100 meters east. Then you have to travel 50 meters south. Then, again, you must travel 25 meters east. Which gives you a total distance from here to subway of 175 meters traveled. However, the displacement is only 125 meters. Now back to Ryan. Now we're going to talk about acceleration. Acceleration is the increase or decrease of an object's speed. Let's use a car as an example. When you press on the gas pedal, you are accelerating. When you press on the brake pedal, you are deaccelerating. To find the acceleration, you must take the final velocity and subtract the initial velocity from it. Once you have that answer, divide it by the amount of time it took. Um, there's a formula for acceleration, and then now we're going to do another problem for acceleration, and um, it's an Indy car, velocity increases from 4 meters to 36 meters, so you take 36 meters per second, subtract 4 meters per second from it, and then it took uh, 4 seconds to do that. So then you divide it by 4 and that gives you an acceleration of 8 uh, meters per second squared. And then uh, acceleration is important to motion because it helps determine how fast an object goes or can go. Now back to Aaron with velocity.